guys. Um, welcome to Nate's World. Um, today is the first episode of Random Runabouts. Now today, I did something cool. Um, one thing is, I own an arcade machine over there. I have my Nintendo Entertainment System and my Atari 2600 hooked up through it. Now, today, since I'm not using these in the arcade machine and I thought they'd be useless for that purpose, I thought maybe I can use them for myself in a different way. So let me show you something. Speakers. Classic 1981 arcade speakers. I don't know if they work or not. I got these with the arcade machine. Um, sadly, this one right here, you can see, started to fall off um, part of the cover, but with this one, it's perfectly fine. Uh, I don't know if they work or not, but they're in good condition, pretty much. Except that one has a little tear in it. Um, on this side. Um, if you're wondering, I actually have this cool... I have a second monitor for some reason, just to look professional. Yeah, it looks professional, doesn't it? Um, it does that... Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, and... So yeah. Um... And, uh, what else? Okay, so, um, today I want to talk about, um, Back to the Future 4 and maybe a few other movies. Um, Back to the Future 4 is, I heard, this is a rumor, I don't know exactly, but I heard it's going to come out a few days after Batman vs. Superman, or it's not, and I, I don't know exactly, but I know it should be coming out next year. Um, uh, Batman vs. Superman, I keep forgetting if it's gonna come out next year, 2016. I've heard 2016, I've heard 2015. It's confusing. Um, yeah, but if you want to know, um, the official trailer, which I'm most likely thinking it's official, mainly because it's Michael J. Fox and he's a lot older, okay? He's in his 50s. Um, I know I kind of talked about this just a little bit in the welcome, but there's more... Um, it's basically the original trailer for Back to the Future, where Marty's walking up to the DeLorean, he kicks the tire twice, he opens up the door, you know, and they start showing the cables and the lights and the switches and all that inside the DeLorean, and then what happens is, then shows Marty grabbing his sunglasses, and then they're on, and you know, there's this computer, like, sound of a lady... That's saying like, oh, where are you heading or something like that. Now he says the 25th, 2010 awards on Spike or something like that. In the original one, it was, it was, oh, about 30 years. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's real or not. There's nothing about that says fan made. It actually looks pretty realistic. Like, um, comparing to the original, it's basically the same. Except it's older Michael J. Fox, basically. Um, what else? I've got my Batman shirt, 1960s Adam West Batman. Um, that was like one of my most favorite shows to watch on Me TV Sat, um, Sci Fi Saturdays. Um, they show old TV shows. Um, so yeah. Um, what else? Ooh. Um, also, yeah, Batman vs Superman leaked. Um. Comic Con trailer has was taken off by Warner Brothers. I made a video about that already. I think, I think, maybe, maybe not. Um, Warner Brothers took off Age of Avengers: Age of Ultron. Maybe, maybe not. But if you're wondering, basically, Iron Man's helmet turns into Ultron. There, that that's the spoiler. Um, I'm sorry for those people that haven't watched those yet. Um, but if you haven't, just wait for the movie. You know, it sucks for you. you know, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, but I'm sorry, but you too late. But most um, superhero fans, people that love that kind of stuff, you know, yeah. Um, I also wanted to show you some cool, two cool um, comic books. Um, I've got two vintage 80s, 19, both were from 1987, and they're actually um, pretty expensive. Um, I, I don't want to sound like some person I don't even know about these. I actually do. Um... So the first one on display is the annual Flash 1987. This is the first. Um, I know the lighting's kind of. This is first 
and first um edition of the annual flash comic book um in it i have a special comic book case most comic book stores it has all the original ads and all the paper all the papers you know it'll have like a chips ahoy ad you know stuff like that it's cool to um read it's actually a pretty good um story um has the death touch that's what it's called flash the death touch that's the story um but it's really good and one thing that i always was confused about is i right hear who watches the watchmen i've always wondered about that the second one don't laugh at me okay it's superhero dc okay don't laugh at me just because it's a certain superhero movie. It's Wonder Woman. Look, I got this for free, okay? But it's special. Look, it even has a silver bag. That's how special it is. It's the first issue. This is how Wonder Woman becomes Wonder Woman. And also, this is how Wonder Woman should look like in Batman vs. Superman. Not golden, okay? And there's a and there should be the golden lasso. I don't know if the golden lasso is going to be with anyone. But that's how it should look like, okay? I don't care what you say, Crimson Studios. Um... Still, it's cool, you know. Um, but don't make fun of me, okay? This thing is like in mint condition, 1987, February 1987. Just don't laugh at me, okay? I got this for free from a guy who collects comics, and he said he'd give me some of his comics. And this is one of them. The other one I got for free from my friend Timmy Johnson. Um, don't laugh at me because of the Wonder Woman one, okay? That's I, that's the only Wonder Woman one I have. All my other ones are Action Comics or Superman one. Not the action comics one, you know, it's Superman one, it's a free comic book day one right here. Superman one, see, Superman one. Um, this was also free comic book day. This was back in 08, June of 08. Um, yeah, I've got others too. Um, uh, 844 of action comics. Oh, uh, that's actually a pretty good story. Um, uh, got the green arrow. That's a lot older. This is um, back in 2003. Um, yeah. And I also recently there's a new comic book store for those people who live in Riverside, California. You should probably know about this. It's called Sphinx Comics, and they have a bunch of comic books, and they have Pokemon cards and baseball cards and all that stuff. It's really good, and the prices are reasonable. Uh, I know Crimson Studios and Christian Bryson recently went there a few days ago. Um, but yeah, I got this from there. It's for a dollar. It's the first issue of G.I. Joe. Um, this company called the Hundred Penny Press um, makes first editions of old comic books for a dollar. It's pretty cool. It's the whole entire original comic book, so that's pretty cool too. Um, haven't got any other comic books right Recently, I don't usually buy too many comic books, but once in a while I might get one. I'm more of a antiques collector. I have a typewriter right next to me right here. Um, I got my Hot Wheels Redline display behind me. You can see it. Right um, you know, and I like old soda bottle stuff down there. You know, um, yeah, but I like Lego. See, the, my Lego table with all my stuff is down there. Well, not all of it, but a whole lot. Um, so yeah. Well, that was an, the update. Um, also, I'll be doing more stop motion animations i might do some live action things i don't know maybe i'll do like par parodies remember that you know i've been thinking um but yeah i'll have to serum mist about it yeah it's empty um yeah um and anything else there's really nothing else so you know what um remember subscribe like Follow. All put into one spot sign. Yeah, it's this one. Um, remember, all in one. Three in one. It's like a Lego creator set. And yeah, so, um, remember that. Remember, comment about stuff and all that. So, remember. Oh, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. I think. Yeah, I really, really think.